All right, so in the last tutorial, I showed you how to make an NPC, but I didn't show you how to give him dialogue. So when we placed him in the world and we went up to him to talk to him, he didn't say anything to us, all right? So now I'm going to show you how to make dialogue. What you're going to do is you're going to come over to this left side tab right here. You're going to hit Quest. You're going to right click in this. You're going to hit New. Ignore the Quest name because it's just a, a dialogue, all right? Now give your uh, dialogue for the NPC a unique ID. So I'm going to go AA Rodney Dialogue and uh, Priority 55, Start Game Enabled, and then hit OK. Always make sure you hit OK first before you start going over here, because if you start clicking on these tabs first, everything that you set in here will erase. So hit OK first, and then we'll go back in here. Now. Go to Topics, right click in Topic, hit Add Topic, then in this box type in Greeting. You're going to see Greeting in here, it's going to be in all caps. Make sure you select this one, alright? Now in here, if you don't see uh, your Topics pop up in here, click in the window, hold Control, and then press the plus button on your number pad. And there you go, it'll appear. I don't know why it does that, but it's pretty annoying. All right, so click on your greeting, then click right click in this window right here, and then hit new. Now right here, this is what he's gonna say to you when you go up to him to talk to, to ugh. He's This is what he's gonna say to you when you go up to him to talk, all right? So I'll put, what's up? Uh, right here is the emotion type. So this is how, this is the emotion that he'll show when he says it to you. So you could put like, he'll be happy. And then emotion value, this is like how much he'll show that emotion when he says it to you. So I'll put like 80. I'll put it really high. Okay. Now, uh, for greetings, you don't need to put a prompt. For other things, you'll need to put a prompt. It'll be like what you say to him before he says something to you, but you don't need to put it for greetings because in Fallout 3, you don't talk to NPCs first, you just go up to them, interact with them, and then they say something to you first, all right? So there's no need for a prompt. <coughs> in conditions, you wanna make sure you do this. This is very important. Right click, go to new, make sure it's on gets ID, click on invalid, and then select your NPC that we made. So mine was Rod Red. Select him, hit OK, make sure it's equal to one. All right, this will make, make it so that only he can say this because if you don't put this in here, this what's up topic will appear on every NPC in the game and we don't want that. So another thing that you could do is you could add more greetings in here. So when you go up to him to, to talk to him, he doesn't always say what's up. He'll say like other things as well. So I'll add a new one and I'll just put How's it going? And then, you know, you can set the emotion types if you want. Hit OK. And then make sure that you set the conditions. You could copy this if you want to. You could right click on this, copy condition, and then you could just paste it in here so you don't have to go searching for it. All right, now to make sure that these randomize, you just hit random on them. So now when I go up to him to talk, he'll say either what's up or how's it going, and it'll just randomize between the two. You could add as much of these as you want, but I'm just going to leave it at two for now. Next thing that you want to do is you need a goodbye topic, because when you go to talk to him, uh, you won't be able to exit the conversation. You'll be stuck in there. So we're going to go to add topic, and then we're going to make a topic. Just give it any unique ID that you can remember. So I made one called AA Rod Red Goodbye. So I'm going to use that one. And then on here, you're going to right click in this. You're going to go to new. And then, oops. We're going to make him say goodbye. All right. So he says goodbye. And then this is the prompt. This is what you'll say to him when he says goodbye back to you. So you'll say, I have to go, or whatever you want to type in. And then 
make sure that the condition is is him and then uh hit goodbye right here so that when he does say this the conversation will end and you won't be stuck in the conversation it'll just exit all right so i'm just going to add another one in here to make it a little more immersive so i'll put see ya and then I have to go. You could randomize what the player character says to the NPC as well, but I I like to just leave it the same because it it makes it less confusing for me. All right. So do it on here too. Make sure it's goodbye. Make sure that the conditions are there. <clears throat> then we also want to hit random because we want it to randomize between goodbye and see ya. All right. So he'll say one of those two things. Now on your greeting. You want to go to add topics. You want to right click in here and go to add topic and then click on your goodbye topic. This way, when you speak to him, this will this will pop up and you'll have the option to say I have to go and he'll say goodbye and then the conversation will end. Make sure that you do this on every greeting. There you go. And so now when we go to talk to him, we'll have the option to say I have to go and then he'll say goodbye. Now, if you want to add more stuff for him to say, you can you can add more topics. So before we do anything else, let's just hit save. All right. All right. Now, so we're just going to give him some simple dialogue. We're not going to do like a conversation. We'll get into that later. Um, but for right now, we're just going to which one was it? I think it was this one. All right. So, yeah. We're going to go back to our topics. Right click, I mean, hold control and then press plus to make these things appear. Now, right click, hit add topic, and then now we're going to add like a random topics. So, uh, just think of something. I'll put like a uh, AA Rodney Y. Why are you here? So now we'll put here his response to why he's here. I'm just looking for scrap to sell. These bills ain't gonna pay <laughs> themselves. All right. And then you could just ignore like the the typo corrections, you know, because I don't know if ain't is actually a word, so I'll just ignore all. All right, hit OK. And then the conditions, make sure that, you know, only he could say say it. And then this is the prompt. This is what we'll ask him. Uh, what are you doing out here? Ah, I keep double typing. All right. And uh, is the conditions there? It's there. All right. And I think that's okay. Now we're going to go back to the greeting and we're going to add that topic in here. So we're going to go to why are you here? And why are you here? So when we go up to him and talk to him, now we'll say either, why are you here? We can ask him that. Or we could just say, I have to go. And it will end the conversation. All right. So that's pretty much some basic dialogue. We're just going to jump in game real quick and see that everything works. So let's go. All right. So for some reason, when I go to start up the game, my mouse just locks up at the title screen and I cannot move. So I don't know what caused that. I didn't change anything um, from the last video till now. So it's really weird. Uh, I can't really test out the mod. So um, I'm just going to assume everything works. Uh, let me know if anything doesn't work and I'll try to fix it for you. Uh, so I'm just pretty much going to end it here because the video is pretty dragged out anyway.
Oh, one more thing before I go. If two topics appear at the same time, like say for example, after I get the greeting from him, the goodbye topic and the why are you here topic is gonna pop up at the same time. But as you can see here, they both share the same priority, which means like only one of them are going to show up. So what you wanna do is you just wanna uh, change one of these. What I like to do is I like to put the goodbye to like 10. That way it's like my lowest number and it appears at the bottom because I like having the goodbye topic at the bottom. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure that the topics don't share the same priority if they appear um, under the same, you know, tab or whatever. All right. So, yeah, that's it. Like I said, we're going to get to the next part once I fix my mouse. So see you guys later. Thank you for watching.